So let's move on from tables and start working with graphics uh, in Excel. I'm still in Word right now and I'm scrolling down here to the bar graph technical information that we have uh, in terms of the pounds of sea bass, tuna, and rockfish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this data in this table and I'm going to move it right into Excel. And to do that, I'm going to go back up here to my crosshairs and click it once and that should select all of the data. And then I'm going to copy or control C or Apple C and I'm going to go over here to Excel and you can see that automatically 1A, the first cell, gets uh, selected. And all I'm going to do is just paste directly there or control or Apple V and all of your data will just nicely um, paste into there. You'll notice that you also have sort and filter features similar to what you have in Word here so you can also organize your technical information in Excel as well as Word. So we've got the data in here and the first thing that we're going to do is go over to the insert ribbon. I'm going to click that and you can see that towards the middle you have a bunch of different chart options. The first option here is just your basic column or bar chart. If I click the arrow down here you're going to see that you've got a ton of options. You've got 2D, 3D. The 3D looks nice sometimes on a computer screen but if you ever try to project a 3D column uh, chart onto an LCD screen if you're doing some type of presentation you'll notice that the resolution is not always great and those things don't reproduce well also if you're going to photocopy things or this is going to be printed out on maybe a lower quality printer or toner that's not great 3D stuff can be really um, poorly reproduced so I always recommend that you do just the basics um, and Excel and PowerPoint are two of those programs where sometimes the less you know the better off you are so I've just gone ahead and I've selected that first basic 2D column now this is typically where people stop they've got their chart and they're done um, but again start thinking about branding thinking about your professional branding um, if this particular chart is part of a report um, for an organization you want to think about what color scheme that you might want to use you don't necessarily want to use the default generic colors that everybody has seen before because then the focus becomes on I've seen this before uh, it's not that interesting to me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color scheme a little bit and so I'm gonna focus on the orange bar for illustrative purposes here and if you'll click on the orange bar here you'll notice that everything orange is automatically gonna show up um, if you want to click it again it'll just select that one orange bar and if I go over here to blue first click it'll select everything that that color click it again it'll just do that one so I'm gonna go back to my orange and you can also if you double click on that it will um, bring up a data option for you and you have a little paint bucket here and you can actually fill You'll also notice here that you have a border. So if you, for example, wanted to have no fill, but you wanted to have a solid line, you can do that as well. If I click over here to blue, you'll also notice that you've got patterns that you can use. Um, so again, if you're designing for black and white, um, these are some ways that you can use these things with patterns. Um, don't get too crazy, but there's some things that you can do. We're just having fun for now. There is gradient, but again, a lot of this gradient stuff you'll notice is, is, is it doesn't reproduce well. And what looks good on a computer screen, for example, you know, this fading in here to a, another blue, that's not necessarily going to reproduce um, well. So just go with solids. Um, if you're designing in black and white, though, you might want to go um, with some patterns that um, are a little, um, probably the thicker patterns that are easier to see. Um, so here's the checker box here. 
So that's some designing tips. Also here, if you look at the top left, you're going to see this drop down here for add chart elements. This is where you can begin to style the information on the actual chart a bit more. And so you can see here that you can actually move the, you can title the access. Uh, we don't have any here, um, but you see for chart title, let's say we didn't want one, we could just say none there and it would take it off. We also can do with grid lines. Grid lines are another thing that can get so repetitive, especially in a small chart, um, that they're not necessary. They're also helpful to guide the eye and find information. Um, so you can add more grid lines if you wanted to uh, as well. And so you can play around here. You can move the legend, for example, to the right if that's something that you wanted to do. Uh, so again, take some time to learn some of these features and just play around with what's there so that you can customize uh, your bar charts a little bit more.